So I'm here. When I throw my punch, not only am I going forward here, look at this. I'm on the balls of my feet. I'm bringing this back. So when I do one, see that? Uh, see that? Uh, uh, so I'm going. So if I come off the jab and I move here, I can throw a hook, I can throw it there, I can come here. But everything is what? From behind the what? Guard. 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 Say guard. Guard. Is it important to guard your face? Yes. There's only two places that you can get knocked out on. Your liver and your head. You can get knocked out if you get a good strike to the liver. I've seen it happen. The liver and the head. Let me show you the points of the head. Yes, now. I'll get to you. The temple can disrupt your mind thinking. Say medulla. Medulla. Amigala. Amigala. You're going to be geniuses in school. That part of your brain can shut down the entire nervous system. In other words, it's just like if I go over, let me go over here. If I hit you right here hard enough, that's what happens. Immediately, the lights go out. You will drop. When you get hit to the jaw or the medulla oblongata, this point here, when you get hit there, the shock from your neck turning in a violent manner like this shuts off. The ex you know what the extension cord is? You oh. use it if you got to apply it, you're vacuuming, you got to have a longer line. This is the spine. It's like unplugging from the extension cord. So if it gets hit there and it gets turned quick enough, it will pinch the spinal cord. You will lose consciousness before you hit the ground. How do I know? Because I got knocked out in 1978 in Canada by a guy that they called Machine Gun Kelly. He was so fast, he could kick you four or five times to your head before you responded to the first kick. He hit me with a technique called flying reverse hook kick. He caught me right here. The next thing I knew, I was in the dressing room. They said I walked to the dressing room, but I was knocked out on my feet moving. I have no memory to this day about it. That's why we guard ourselves. So when you have your guard up, always remember, this is the way you can remember. Put your arms up, stand up. Keep this in your mind, all right? We're not going to talk about the feet. Put your hands up. Put your hands just like that. Look at my hands, okay? Bring your elbows down to your rib cage, just like this. No, hands up. Just bring your elbows down. Let your hands go out here. Close your fists. Bring your hands up to here, all right? Now, turn your head sideways, and your right, turn your head sideways, and you've got your chin right behind your shoulder. All right? Get your hands up. Remember, your hands are here. Look, look, look. Your hands are right underneath your eyes. It's peekaboo. And you're here, because if you're here, you can't see. But 